All right, welcome back to Wild Arms 2. So basically we need to go find the demon pillars. I did do a bunch of stuff off camera. Um, there were a bunch of little like side questy things that I hadn't done, like some more um, some more um, what are these called guardians that um, some more guardians that I could find. Um, so I got some more guardians. And that's going to help us out a lot. Um, so let's see what we got here. Alright, so that's the best for her. Alright, so everybody's got their best guardians on. I also made sure that Tim knows all of the um, abilities from those, so he has a lot more, like, elemental magics. So we need to find the demon pillars, and the way we do that is we go to the seals region, because they have all the knowledge and stuff of that. So let's go in. Hopefully everything works, and we don't have to do any camera changes or anything like last time. So, but I've been working on it. It's just basically working on putting everything together. So to get to the library, we have to go back here, which is where they told us to go last episode. <laughs> here we go. Good day. A book on Diablo Pillars. Actually, I have read that one. Shall I share my knowledge? The Diablo Pillars are out-of-place artifacts, or ooh parts. These four towers were built to store massive amounts of energy. With these towers, the ancients made their fortress fly, but also triggered their own destruction. I discovered one surrounded by two capes and one island. Um, I forget the rest. Okay. So, I think then we go talk to our friend up here. So, you seek Diablo Pillar. Well, you've come to the right person. They say it's... It is in the sand to the e sea to the east, and that the water around it is black for some reason. Such mystery, such mysteries present a challenge to me. For being a scientist, I remains omitted. What? Did he just get SCP'd? <laughs> it seems like he just got SCP'd. That's really funny. All right. So we need to go out to the sea using the hovercraft. Um, and I've already found this like area while I was going around trying to find items and such. We can't really get all the items on the map until later. I think not until like disc two. Which disc two is coming out pretty much right after the... Um, right after the Diablo Pillars. So, but you can see that little green dot on there telling us where the Diablo Pillar is. I've been using Brad and Cannon and Tim. I need to reorder Tim's attacks too because they're all like mixed up. Because I, I like to have them in a certain order because he's got his single attacks and then he's got his all attacks or group attacks um, for each element, and I just want to order them kind of how I would use them. Because um, he's got one for pretty much every element now. Oh, and Lilka has high magic now. Um, so I started getting her that stuff. Um, like, I don't think we have any of the elemental magics yet, but we have, like, high heal, high revive, which revives with full health, um, Restore, which takes away any status effects. Saber, which is like a, a non-elemental magic attack. Hype weapon, which increases attack. Um, field, which, yeah, has elemental damage. And then I got high flame, because that's the only one I had a crest for. But it was just like this little side quest to get the... So let's put first aid up top, because that's the one we use the most. But then we need to move lightning. Let's move that up. Turn Undead is always going to be on the bottom, <laughs> no matter what. 
So let's... Got Black Gate, which is dark. Arrow Shot, which is light. And then we have Ice Beam, which of course is ice. So that's all our... So we have our first aid. Then we have all our single hitting magics and then all our group hitting magics. And then Turn Undead, um, which... There is a boss in one of these things that um, is weak against it, I guess. At least that's what I found with research, but, like, I've never used it. Alright, here's our first Diablo pillar. So we're going to do these each in one episode. So they may be, like, shorter episodes because they're really easy to find and really easy to get to. And I actually accidentally found one. Um, like, just searching around an area that I didn't realize was where the demon pillar was. So, because of that, there's one that I've already, like, discovered. But, um, that'll just make it easier for us as we go along. Lamprey. So that's probably electric, so maybe we use... Um... Or there... I don't know, it's a fish. I use lightning on it. I don't even know if I'll get to the point where I can actually do it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, cannons... Like, I found a couple, like, strength apples and vitality apples while looking around the world. Oh no, they got Brad. And this isn't gonna do jack to it. It might even heal it. Oh no, that is its weakness. Okay. It uses, it uses lightning attacks, but is weak to lightning as well. Alright. That's good to know. It's good to keep in mind. Alright, at least the critical hits. Ooh, somebody hit 30. I did level up a couple of times off camera and filled everybody's, like, personal skills. I think I maxed out, like, basically just maxed out what we were working on. Um, yeah, so started Brad with up physical attack. Um... Pretty much started everybody with up physical attack. Um, and then I maxed out up magic attack for Lilka and Tim. So their magic attack is going to be a lot higher. Um, and then we got to start working on their defenses, honestly. Because that's going to help them a lot. Especially physical defenses for Tim. But we don't have enough points for any of that stuff yet. So pretty much with this, it's really straightforward. We just make our way up the tower... Oh, you know what? I think I do need to, um, I have, uh, an equipment on that I think increases the amount of battles that I get into. Okay, so this one I may have made a bad decision. This might heal it. Or just not hurt it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't hurt it. That's better than healing it, though. <laughs> so I'm fine with that. Alright. Cool. So basically, I really just need to physical attack with Cannon and Brad. And then... I can just first aid with Tim. Yeah, so we're just basically going up this pillar. There's not really much else to do. I don't even know if there's items in this place. And then first aid. Yeah, because those lightning attacks are doing quite a bit of damage. Ooh, this might kill it. Nope. Not even close. Ooh, counterattack. This'll kill it. Nice. See, that's how that stuff pays off. Like, real quick, it'll start paying off. Because they'll start doing it more and more the more their stats go up. Yeah, so we're pretty much just running to all these teleporters. Okay. I think I need Brad for this. If I remember right, because this is like a... Oh, oops. It's like a timed thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, nope. 
So you got to time it perfectly so that it's hitting the box when it's about to fall on you. So... There we go. So basically, if you just walk and kind of just lay bombs really quickly, it, it works, but... Oh, come on. Really? All right. I guess that's not the good strategy. Okay, so it saves the ones that I've destroyed already. So let's... Oh, oh did I... Ha <laughs> ha! I cheesed it. All right. That was not supposed to be how that happened. Oh, that's how you can do it. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I figured this out. It's taken me a minute, but... And I'm probably getting damaged every time it actually falls on me. Yeah, see? So you just lay a bunch in one spot where you know it's going to land, and then it blows it up. All right. Oh, did that not get it at all? Oh, jeez. Alright. This might take me a minute. I'll keep it in because... And I need to unequip those odd sandals. Gain surprise. Um, so another one. Prevents surprise or fighting alone. That's a good one. Cannon doesn't have any gear either. Um, dies and revives fallen character. Um, gain surprise and one-third capability. Okay, let's do all of those. Because those all sound good. Yeah, I'm not really sure on the strategy on this. Like, I'm doing okay, I guess. Alright, just go. Alright. I guess I cheesed it. That's fine. Probably took a lot of damage in the process, though. Let's see. Uh, not, not too much, but enough that, like, first aid is not going to heal at all. Like, it'll take a couple first aids to get us back to full. Alright. Maybe. It just depends on what its max is now. Okay, 1100? See? That magic attack up really helps. Yeah, darn stun clouds. But yeah, these should not take long at all. Like, these are going to be short episodes, but they're leading up to the end of disc two. Or, the end of disc one, which brings us into disc two, which is just basically like the end game. Like, you get a, an airship in disc one. Like, right at the end of disc one that you take around in disc two and just basically, like, go and get all of the stuff that's around the world. And then go, like, level up your characters so you can go fight the final boss and all that stuff. I also got a bunch of lucky cards. Um, there's a place where you can, like, steal them from enemies and I figured out how to use the special abilities for from the guardians am I still trying to destroy these things is that what I'm doing oh yep and if I get hit I go straight down okay so there's one See, this is easier. Oh, and this one gets faster. Okay. Oh, there's another one, and it's really fast. Okay. Okay. 
Sweet. Oh, and of course the bridge is on the complete other side. That's all right. Whoop. Because I've been kind of missing out on using lucky cards for bosses. Because, like, I haven't had that many. But now that I've stolen a bunch, I think I have like eight of them. And I know where to get them, so I'll just keep them around. Um, so if I have a good stash of them, then I know I'll have enough for the bosses. Because, like, that's really how you level up in this game. Like, you shouldn't... You shouldn't have to grind levels in this game at all. Like, it's easy enough without grinding. But you have to use lucky cards on every boss fight to be able to do that. Which, there are other places where you can level up at the end of the game, like, pretty easily. But you should still, like... It's so much easier if you use the lucky cards. Because I could go steal a bunch of lucky cards and go to this little island that has a bunch of really hard monsters on it. But if I treat them like boss fights, they're fine. Alright, let's see here. Because this is Ptolemaeus. Okay, so we have to fight like a monster boss fight and then we fight the Cassitis. A summons trap of confinement. What would he do in this situation? Would he get out right away, or because he had people behind him he had to protect, would he... What? No, that's not right. It's because he trusted those following him. He was able to get out right away. I need to take a lesson from him. Alright, here we go. Boss time. Da -dum. Ding. And we've got a lot of, like, I upgraded the arms for Brad. Like, we're gonna mow through these bosses. Like, super easy. Explosive Emperor Monster, Belle Claire. Alright, so. I don't care what's going on, Tim. You are only first aiding. Um, so we've got the drill. And we've got the chest. Yeah, Tim, I don't care what's going on, you are first aiding, because, like, this thing can do a lot of damage really quickly. Nice. Okay. Drill Drager. Okay. Yeah, see, look at that. Holy crap. That's not cool. All random attacks with energy rounds. Um, I'm going to do it because like, and then focus everything else on, because that thing does so much damage. I just want to, I want to take it out as quickly as possible. Oh shoot. I need to lucky card. Oh, but it. All right. Okay. Because I need to lock on. Duh. Drive cut. Then, uh, crap, but... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lucky card with Brad. Drive cut the drill. First aid with Tim. And then from now on, I need to lock on when I use Brad's arms, because his accuracy isn't very good. Yeah, as long as he doesn't use that on Tim, like, we're pretty good. Alright, lock on, lawnmower. Cannon is going to use vortex cut on the drill. Tim is going to first aid. Nice. 1,500. Alright. 
All right. So that should hit everything with tons of damage. Okay. Oh, so I think the drill is dead. Okay. So the drill's dead. So that, um, cool. That works. Um, vortex cut, chest. Actually, I think it's, I remember hearing something about wire fist being really good for its chest. I was looking at a guide and I just catch things in my eye. Maybe it's like super effective or something. Oh, no, just as regular damage. I should have used the other one, honestly. Yeah, Lawnmower is pretty good. I haven't upgraded Lawnmower. Oh, but I need to friggin... But that's okay. It hit the chest, which is really what I'm focusing on right now. Uh, but then I do that. Don't kill it before you kill the chest. Wait, lock on. Lawnmower. There we go. And now, Vortex Cut. First aid. Yeah, because now it can't use its drill attack, which would kill Tim in one hit. We'll just keep using Vortex Cut, and then when we get to the main body, Brad will switch to the single hit. Or maybe the chest is already dead. Who knows? We'll see. Yep, the chest is already dead. So it'll use Resonance Quake, which isn't that bad. Yeah. Alright, so Brad... All right, we're going to take this guy out. Why? Oh, because I need 99. Okay. That's all right. The bazooka's still really good. All right, bazooka. Then we're going to get two with arc kick. Then we're going to first aid. <laughs> nice bazooka yep see almost 2000 megaton attack uh oh whoa okay um, I don't think I have any revives of any kind. Um, which means... Come here, Loka. Um, we're just gonna have to regular revive. All right, let's just keep everybody alive for a minute. Hopefully it doesn't do... Hopefully it doesn't kill Cannon again. Oh, uh, it... Of course. Missed. Okay, sweet. Um, Brad, come back. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know that could miss. All right, Brad. Let's do this. Take it out. Dang, she had a lot of FP built up too. Oh, but now she's going to critical. Since it takes 99 to use... Oh, there we go. And we lucky carded and everything. 20,000. All right. Achieve level 30, 30, 30, 30. Best vest acquired. Okay. I think that's for Brad, probably. But we still have another boss fight. All right. Let's equip Brad. Yeah, best vest. Okay. All right, and everything else should be good. I need to organize this. I don't know how it gets so disorganized. Probably just for me, like, selling stuff. All right. Yep, 
Yeah. So we keep moving up. But we do, like I said, we do have another boss fight that we need to fight. Because there's, like, the monster boss fight, and then there's the Cassitis boss fight in these towers. So. I should have ordered that differently. Oh, but she crit critical, so that might kill it still. Because I don't know if Brad can kill it in one hit or not. God, all these things love to paralyze us. <laughs> okay, so he can't one-shot him either. Okay. I mean, Tim could with some magic, but then he wouldn't be able to heal. Missed. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I guess just keep doing what I'm doing. This would be much faster if Cannon wasn't paralyzed. Oh god, don't paralyze anybody else. Oh jeez. Now everybody but Tim is paralyzed. Alright, come on guys, get over it. I can only keep us healthy for so long. As long as we don't paralyze Tim. Oh lord. Not everybody's paralyzed, I can't run. I can't heal. I could switch him out, but that's not going to do me any good. I don't think. Okay, here we go. Take him out. Get him. Nice. That was a good amount of experience, actually. And they have to come back and grind here a little bit. Because a thousand per battle, that's more than anybody else that we've run into yet. Also a good amount of Gela coming in from that. Alright. Save. Just in case Ptolemya, like... Ptolemya totally destroys us or something which you know i'm not saying he won't oh we still got another one of these floors hopefully we can skip the battles it's in the same spots every time i think it's like i think you have to fight in those spots all right at least it's these and not the friggin monkey things that paralyze us. <laughs> and we're going to be we're going to end this battle with full health. So that'll be good setup for Ptolemya. Yeah, I looked it up the um Because I kept saying Ptolemya, but that's very American of me. Um, when it's written out in Japanese, it's actually to lo me a So it's Ptolemya. Because it could have been Ptolemy a but it's Ptolemya. -a. So that's how they want it pronounced. <laughs> Are we here? Oh lord. Oh 
Do I have to just take the L? Oh god, and it starts over. Can I even, like... Oh, frick. Okay. Okay, we can break one section. It wasn't letting me break the sections on the other ones, but I cheesed it, so it's fine. But still, now we took damage that we didn't need to take. Okay, here's... Okay. Yeah, this is the final teleport. Bum, bum. Yep, there's Ptolemaea. Wow, what a shock. The last little yearling got this far. We couldn't just stand around and do nothing. That's why we go got strong and made our way this far. Change it into power. My power of desire is stronger than anyone's. Ha, ah, don't make me laugh. You act so self-righteous. What'd you say? How dare you? Try some of your justice out on me if you dare. I'll stop you all. I'll pulverize you. Alright. What's the point in keeping the world as it is today? The world's just convenient for those in power. For us, it's just a suffocating place. I promised my men we'd create a free world. My men and I will reclaim this wasted world and seek out our own heaven. No compromises with my desire. I too will become strong and crush you all. Alright. So Brad is going to lucky card. Cannon is going to left edge. And we are going to heal. Because that darn puzzle took us off of full health. Alright, lucky card. Sweet. And we're all faster than him, so... That helps out a lot. Told him he had dynamite. This is gonna hurt everybody. Hopefully not that much. Okay. Actually within healing range, honestly. Alright. Drive cut. First aid. I think Cannon's probably the only one who won't be healed completely. Nope, they're all... Okay. So this is... This is going to be easy, because I think Ptolemy, Ptolemaea Dynamite is... Probably his strongest attack. 2,000 of Iron Saber. Ooh, okay. Alright. Good job, Tim, surviving that that Iron Saber. Though, if he gets hit again, he probably won't survive another one, but... Oh, no, he would. But just hopefully they don't attack him twice. Yeah, I just need to get Brad's... Um, FP up a little bit. This will help. I want to I want to use that railgun so bad. I think I'm going to save up Brad's FP. Phalanx. Oh. That's a new um Yeah, there's I really only have one more ability with cannon that I haven't unlocked. So, all right, Ptolemaea Dynamite, sweet. Because everybody's within surviving range of that. 
Sweet. Alright, what do we got? We're close. Focus Shockwave Strike, level 3. And I think to get my next one, I have to use that one over and over again. Because it's like, every time you use certain abilities, there's a one out of so many chance that she learns a new one. So, if I use that Fanalax, then... Okay, he's conditioned green, so he should be able to use... I don't know if he can use lock-on and then do it, though, because it takes 99 FP. Because it doesn't have that great of... I can. Okay. Alright, let's use that. And heal. Everybody should be full after this. Yes, look at that. Eagle Claw Sparked. That's the final one. How did I get that on my first... <laughs> I swear I'm not hacking this game. <laughs> I swear. Like, that's her best ability. Yeah, look at that. 3,000 in one shot. Yeah, that's her best ability. Like, she has unlocked her ultimate attack. Eagle Claw. There we go. Bionic... Governor Override, level 4. And that's just going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, 2300. That's great. And it's worth it to me to keep getting um, Brad to condition green to use that attack. Especially now that I have Eagle Claw, like, come on. <laughs> Got him. 14,000, 14,000, 31, 31, 31. War Respite. Mm. Tell me one thing. Are you guys right? Is justice on your side? The side of the winner? Either way, this is the end of the road for me. I can barely stand anymore. Alright, we destroyed it. Promise me one thing. Please treat my men with leniency. I know it's self-serving, but I was the one who made them do what they did. It was all my fault. Sure. Promises made on the battlefield have to be kept. Bonds formed in battle are the strongest. I'm glad I got to meet you. You really are a hero. I beg you, do something before Vinsfeld goes ballistic. You're the only one I can trust to look after my troops. Okay. He wasn't really a bad person after all. That's why he could risk his life on the battlefield. And that's why it's so sad. Alright. And then we use this, and this probably teleports us outside. Yep. Alright, so that's the first demon pillar down. Um, seal's just down here. So, I'm just going to go back to Seal's region and save, and then we'll be done with this one. And then in the next one, it's going to be basically the same episode over again. Because we're going to... There's got to be something here. I was going to say, that's too close to be in the water. Oh, sorcery apple. Sweet. Um, um, 248, 339. Wow, okay. Um, what does this do? Cures all abnormal statuses. Okay. I don't really need those. So we'll go back in the sealed region. We'll just save, and then we'll ask. It's going to be literally the same thing next time. 
we'll go to the library, we'll ask where the next one is, and we'll go get it. <laughs> and then the final one, like, I already know where it is because I already unlocked it. So, alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that right up here. And um, if you want to watch a random video from the channel, you can do that right up here. And then I'll put a link to my Discord down at the bottom here. So thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!